recorder? All right. Okay. Good. Hey guys, welcome back. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody is recovering and for just prayers to anybody that was in the path of the storms and we'll get into that. I have a video that I'm going to be doing on that here in a little bit. Um, this is kind of like the update before the video kind of thing. Um, I had a lot I had to get done this morning, as you guys can see. And I wanted to get that started. They're out there mowing right now, so if you hear them in the background, just try to ignore it. We had that. I want to get the garden ready to start this weekend and get some. And we're going to be doing taters, toms. You guys saw that the uh, parsley is still good and, and, and survived the winter that wasn't a winter this year. Um, but like I said, we're going to do taters, toms, and there's this other thing. It's, it, it's, it looks like a chive, but it's not a chive, but I can't think of it at the top of my head what it is. So we're going to, we're going to do that this year along with our regular plants that we plant every year. Um, and we have a few other things that we have planned for like real life, obviously. So we're going to get that ready for this weekend. Um, I have, I've decided that since uh i it's it just it's been bugging me so i'm just like i'm doing it i'm I, it, no more questions we're just gonna do it i'm gonna be redoing all of sky daddy's uh amvs and music videos that i have done in the past i'm gonna be redoing them now with the setup and the editing software that i have now so i'm excited for that i'm looking forward to that i i really enjoyed making a uh, crazy side because I used that anime mostly because of her story, her her, her reasoning, or her, her, I don't know how to explain it. I did, artist to artist, she has a history with the church, she has a history with all of that, and so I just combined it. Like, I took what I got from her and I tried to represent it in that song with what i use with crazy side and i'm going to try a little bit i'm still using the same anime for that one for crazy side for sure but i'm going to try to get a little more wicked with it darker if you would um and then we got quite a few reactions that i got done i'm going to get done today as well as i have a couple of other vlog my rant vlog videos that we want to get done which speaking of like church come on ryan don't do me like that ignore ignore uh uh, uh what, what is it beetlejuice 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 it's showtime motherfuckers what's up you done said my name three times i'm here what's up <laughs> you know and, like, another thing, it's really hard to ignore when it comes to your kid. It really is. So, let, let, let's deep dive into the education, my motherfucking system, right now. I'm so fucking fed up with this motherfucking education system. So, I, I might play about a lot of motherfucking things. I might. But I don't play about my kid. And when we started in this Head Start program, it went really well. Like the, the pre-Head Start, the, the summer school bullshit that she had to do. Cool. I didn't understand it. Didn't know why she needed it. it it's part of whatever new implement thing that they're doing for the, the, this new system bullshit that they got set up right now whatever if she's getting what she needs she's getting what she needs that's all that i care about but school hadn't actually started yet like i need y'all to understand that that actually school semester pause for a second i gotta get my fucking cat tank nah fuckers leave it alone No, you're about to make me mad. I'm going to kick y'all out of here. Get the fuck out. No, Tink, get out. Oh, fucking shit. Oh. 
Ooh, anyways, sorry about that. But she hadn't even started yet. September hadn't started. Week of, I get the call, her teacher has quit. So now she's on a waiting list to get her into the classroom along with 30 other kids. Okay. Okay. The education system sucks right now. People don't want to be fucking teachers. Okay. Fuck my life, you know, because now I got to figure some shit out. But okay. Months go by. And when I say months, I mean months. Finally, they get a new teacher. First, like, it, it's, we're already getting into October, November. Finally get a new teacher. Bitch quits. Oh, well, she's back on the waiting list. Now, mind you, this same fucking time, I'm getting text messages, emails, all this other shit about all, like, newsletters type shit about all the stuff that they're doing in the school. All the stuff the kids are doing in the school. And I'm getting pissed. So, now, my mom, God bless her soul, and even if we have our issues, we, when it comes to that kind of stuff, we, we stand tall, we're an army, like, get ready. Like, if, when you mess with one, you mess with us all, kind of stuff. We we might be our, our inside enemies, biggest enemies to each other, but when it comes to the outside world, you, you, you're not going to mess with one of us. So... But my mom, she's been in the education system since the fucking beginning. Her late 80s going into the 90s, started in daycare, got, went into Head Start, then became a high, middle school, high school teacher, and then eventually became to where she is now, where she's retired out of the classroom, but still the data grant coordinator of the whole entire district. Entire district. Okay, so she go, she works... She's the one that handles the fucking money and the funds for everybody from the pre-K to the to the high school, okay? So, and the, the backdoor politics, that stuff has never been foreign to me. I've always known all about the policies and the politics and all of that shit that catches up a lot of fucking parents that they try to catch you with. I don't play that game. I don't. I don't. I, I'm just not. I'm not the fucking one. I'm healing. Not healed. Duh. Okay. So. And I recognize that. At, I get mean. I get fucking mean. When I feel like I'm being disrespected. When I feel like I'm not being heard. Or I'm just being dismissed. When it comes. Like especially when it comes to like something as important as this you're the head start this is i am putting my child in your care okay so i need to know shit's up to motherfucking up one two three a b c d you know which should be understandable they try to tell me because of the fact that they're doing this back and forth back and forth she's still not in fucking school so i'm having to figure shit out on the backside, like because life still goes fucking on and i'm fighting with these people every day like when is when am i gonna be able to get her into the fucking classroom or do i like and i'm looking at other schools i've got her on waiting lists in other schools but shit right so finally January 23rd, my motherfucking birthday. I'm sitting in the ER. Because I got to get my gallbladder fucking removed. And I finally get the call that she can go into the classroom. I didn't... I stopped everything. I looked at the doctor. I was like, you got to wait a minute. You gotta, I got This call is more fucking important. So, I'm 
fucking post-op after all that shit. And getting my kid into the fucking, like, can't he, like, you know, anybody who's had their gallbladder removed, it's, it's not an invasive surgery, but it's still, it ain't fun to have your shit open, you know, it's not fun. So, but that's all within that week of her getting in, finally in to the school. She hasn't been in the school all year until January 20, like something. It's right after January 23rd because that's 21st. I went into the fucking ER. 23rd, I was signing up for fucking surgery. 24th, I had my surgery. So it was somewhere after that, that week, that week she went into the classroom. Week after, she's only been there for four days because they have no kid Fridays. It's Monday. I'm getting a call. She's not doing anything. She's high. She's not participating. She seems a little. I'm like, well, well, is she? Does she just look discontent, or does she look distraught? Like, does it look like something is seriously wrong, or does she just look uncomfortable? She's three. She's three and a half. She's a COVID baby. The first time she ever stepped foot in a fucking Walmart, she was 18 months old. But the first interaction she ever had with a child her own fucking age was at a Crackle Barrel, and the kid knocked her down because she didn't know what a hug was. Not from somebody her own size, anyways. Everybody I know, like, had kids in high school, so their kids are teenagers. I literally am the only one who has a baby, a child, like a toddler right now out of my family, my friends groups, at least of like my imminent, like close, because I have a couple up north, now i that have their babies too, but that's second cousins, distant relatives, you know, her everyday life people. She's the only baby. Everybody else is adults. So they knew that. Going the fuck in. That she had no real, like, exposure like we did as kids. The hell, by the time I was three, I had been in so many different fucking states. I had, I don't even want to go there by the time I was fucking three. By the time she was two, we finally were like, fuck this COVID shit, like 18 months. Fuck this COVID shit. We're moving to fucking back down here. Fuck Detroit and their bullshit. Like, so, like, no, like, going in, they knew. They knew that she was... I don't want to say my kid, because she's not, like, a book smart. She's not, like, behind. But when it comes to the social, yeah, she's behind. She had no social. <laughs> it's not like I had a daycare that I could send her to. There were no daycares that were open. Where I lived in Detroit and during the COVID shit, everything was shut down unless you were working fast food, Walmart, or something like that. You're essential workers. Unless you lived, unless you lived in a, like legit conservative country as bumpkin place, you had to heed by the bullshit fucking rules. Why do you think we left? So fast forward, we want to get her a speech there, with like a speech, like a speech evaluation because one, I have a stutter and I have a lisp, and. She's going to learn from me. Like, I'm going to be her main source. So if she's learning the words through me, she's going to learn a lisp dialect, a, a stutter dialect. Do I want her to know that? Fuck no. Hell no, I don't. So I want her to have an evaluation on that, and then I want her to have a social evaluation to see how she did 
with the interacting with the other kids was she picking up on your social norms was she picking up on the emotions empathy sympathy where she's showing those normal signs as a three-year-old going four-year-old growing up like you know you're do 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 because now she's actually in the fucking environment that she needs to be in sign all the fucking paperwork Nothing comes of it. February. Nothing. When is she... Oh, we're still waiting on da-da-da. Okay. Now, at this point, every single week, since that day, I had I had to go in to check on her because she was having a, a I'm blue, da 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 kind of a fucking day. That's what it was. It was a, a day of chaos in the classroom, and she wasn't feeling it. So she excused herself to the fucking corner with her blankets and some toys and didn't participate with the class. My daughter grew up in a quiet, peaceful home that where the most chaos was through her own doing because she was playing, being hyper. So yeah, when you got kids climbing on counters, kids climbing on the fucking table, while another one is screaming bloody murder over there, she gonna say, no, I'm good. I'm gonna go over here with my book, my blankie, and my toys. I ain't about that. She's very mature when it comes to that kind of stuff. And so when I came into the classroom and I saw that, and I'm like, there's nothing wrong with her. Well, ma'am, she's just, she seems very, I was like, there's, she seems nothing. She don't want to play with them. That's not, that's not her. She's not going to jump off the wall. Okay. That's fine. So they started doing the coloring and the book thing. Because the nap thing became a problem too. She either wouldn't nap and would want to keep playing because all the kids were now finally quiet and she could go do her. Or she would nap and they couldn't wake her up because we're not nappers. We is not, no, we ain't doing no 45 minute hour bullshit. When we nap, we sleep. We're going down for at least two to three hours. So it's very scheduled moments of like, we got that time to take that fucking nap. If not, we ain't napping, you know? Been that way since she came home. And except for like the normal baby shit. Like the normal baby stage. Yes, she napped. No, every baby did. But once she got into her, I can move on my own. I can use my own hands. I got my own feet. I was lucky if she napped. Oh my God, I prayed for her to nap because then she did. She napped for three hours. She was out. Oh, and I was lucky to get that maybe once, twice, uh, tw twice I was fucking beyond, like, Ooh, if I got it twice in a week, because I got three hours of just no kid noises, because <laughs> as much as I love it, I love Blue's Blues, I love all that, I love playing with my kid, but I'm, don't sit here and judge me because I want quiet too. Every parent does. But on to the, with the Head Start shit. Every week she started calling me at least once to come get Hayden. Because she was sick. And what it really was is we now figured it out. She isn't actually sick. She doesn't have a virus. She, does, she has allergies. I wasn't expecting it because we don't have allergies in our bloodline. She does on the other side. So, I'm, she didn't come just for me. I got to take that into account. There's, there's going to be other things. Like, I had to look for lactose intolerance for her side. For that other side, you know? So, she has allergies. She's on an allergy medicine now. And she has not had coughing fit. She hasn't had the sneezing fit. She hasn't had any of that. But they kept on calling at least once a week. Because she would go into a coughing fit right after lunch or breakfast 
and puke. And what they were failing to entail over this was how as soon as she would get up from lunch or breakfast, she would bolt because they have lunch in the gym. She would bolt and go start trying to play with the toys because that's what they would do. Breakfast, lunch, playtime. She would bolt. It would cause a coughing fit. She'd puke because she just got done eating. gotta come get her i'm done at this point we're now getting to spring break it is now fucking april and since january you have called me once to twice a week for me to come get my fucking kid and you're only open four days out of the fucking week meaning she's getting two days if i'm fucking lucky three if i just don't answer my phone because there's been a couple of times that i haven't answered my phone and just listen to the message. Hayden's being a bit discontent. We don't know. I don't answer it. I message Trenton, who is her family advocate. Let him know what's going on. And I, I'm not coming to get her. Because of whatever issue is going on in the classroom. That is their job. There's nothing wrong with my... She's not sick. If she does not want to interact with the chaos of the classroom, I'm not going to come get her because you can't classroom manage. I have a problem now. I have a serious fucking problem now. And where is the evaluation on top of that? When, is, when are we going to get the fucking evaluation? Oh, and at this point, I'm not cussing either. I have yet, because that's another thing, on these videos, on YouTube, in my rants, whatever, I'm unfiltered, I don't give a fuck. But my political side, my, you're now in a professional setting, I don't cuss. But I'm very, I'm mean. I'm fucking mean. And I'm about to make you regret whatever stupid shit's about to come out your fucking mouth. So... This is right before April 8th. We go down to we go down to Arkansas for April 8th and the eclipse, right? I get a call on that Thursday. Hayden's sick. We need you to bring her some Tylenol. Okay. Understandable. Happens. But now I'm getting because they've already know I'm already upset because this is they've been calling. Non-stop once a week and I've said something last week. Like, why do you keep, is there a problem? If there is a problem, it needs to be addressed now and not later. And there, no, there's no problem. It's just our policy. Obviously, there's no problem if I'm getting a call once a week. When my kid's not sick. When she's coming home and playing and acting perfectly fucking fine. When the doctor is sitting here saying she's not fucking sick, how many notes do I need to bring in with you to tell you that she's not fucking sick? So, finally, the spring break comes. And they're like, we need to bring you, her, you need, we need some Tylenol. Convenient that the time that you're calling me is right before nap time. Convenient that if, if, I, if I give my kid this Tylenol, it's going to knock her out for six fucking hours. Meaning I would have come to that school and picked up my kid and she would have been fucking asleep. Because that's exactly what happened. I went there, gave her the fucking Tylenol and I ended up taking her home. And an hour later she was asleep. So you basically mean wanted me to come there, drug my kid so that she could sleep. For the rest of the fucking night. because Or the day. Because you're so fucking busy. With the chaos of the rest of the kids. That you can't provide what my child needs. Because don't get me wrong. My daughter is a sneaky ass motherfucker. She really is. She really fucking is. She can it. And she's smart. So she'll wait. She will wait for that opportune moment. So don't get me wrong. I guarantee there are some times that Hayden has taken advantage of that chaos and got it into something she wasn't supposed to get into. 
or even dipped out of the classroom when she wasn't supposed to. I guarantee it. 100%. Guess what? You know what her mom did to her grandma and all the other teacher daycare affiliates? The same fucking thing. Same thing. It's your job to manage that. And again, like I said, that's your job. Is to manage the classroom. And like I said, yeah. Hayden is probably taking full full blown advantage. I have no doubt in my mind. None. But continuing on with the story. We get to April. We go down to Arkansas for the eclipse in spring break. They already know Hayden's not going to be there for Monday or Tuesday. Because we're coming home, obviously. And I just was not. We got home Monday night. We got home Monday night and I was just, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't doing that to her and I wasn't doing that to me. No, not after. Let her have the day to decompress, compose herself, get back to herself, right? Recenter herself. So, she goes to school Wednesday. Everything's fine. She's on the allergy medicine. Next week comes. I'm getting cold shoulder, no real updates of like how has her day been for the last couple of weeks. All the while asking, when are we getting evaluated? Coming to the end of the year is when is when are we going to have this meeting? Finally, I'm done. I'm done at this point. I'm done being nice, and I'm like. I look at my mom and I'm like, we have two options. You can call and you can do your politically correct way of, of doing this. Or I'm about to go nuts. Because I'm not politically correct. I'm not. I can be in, in, in certain things, but then I come off mean, I guess. Which is fine. At this point, I'm coming to a conclusion that I spent my entire life being bullied. That no, I don't ever want to be the bully. But I'm not, like, if that, if I have to be a bitch, so you don't think you can bully me, then so fucking be it. Because, like, bullies is more than just saying mean words. Like, like this shit that they're doing at the school is a form of bullying. They're taking advantage of the what they think is my mental illness, man, depression, PTSD, because I have, like, I had to inform them, like, hey, I have PTSD, I do have somewhat of memory loss, but it's, like, the little shit. Like, if you hand me a piece of paper and ask me to sign this and you don't watch me sign it, I'm probably going to forget to sign that piece of paper until you remind me to sign that piece of paper. Which happens. But, like, now, I can recite every fucking incident that has happened with this school. Every conversation. And I can tell you what the fuck each one of you was wearing that day. It's weird. That's how my memory works. Little fucking detail shit like that that don't matter isn't relevant unless somebody points it out like, oh yeah, I remember that shit. Whatever. So, they hear that and it's like, Ugh. Automatic stigma. Automatic stigma. And I, I've dealt with it since. Since. So I don't fucking care. But. That's also why I have. My mom as an advocate. And some of my shit. Even though I really wish I wouldn't. Ha I didn't have to. Because it just causes. Like it causes conflict where there shouldn't be. But she is. She's an advocate. Because. In the day. She's one. It, the. You want that one trying to shop on your fucking side instead of trampling you, you okay? Like, you want that bitch on your side instead of the one trampling you, right? So, that's kind of, that's kind of how I see it anymore when it comes to my mama. It's kind of like, I'm just gonna unlatch this latch real quick and let the bull loose. <laughs> Good luck, right? 
And that's what happened. Finally, I was like, you got to figure this out. Because something, something ain't clicking when I'm trying to communicate with these people. Something. Because I was nice. I was nice. Until spring break. Because it had constantly, constantly, every week. I'm like, what's the problem? There's got to be a fucking problem. Okay? There's got to be a fucking problem. No, no, there's never a problem. Okay. Come to yesterday. Everything comes to a head yesterday. Call Trenton, who is her family advocate. I need y'all to hear that. His job is to be my daughter's family advocate. Meaning he is the go-between the teacher, the district, and the school. He is the one I am supposed to go to for anything that is regards to the classroom, the school, or the district. That is his fucking job title. Okay? So that's who I've mostly been going to. We'll have the paperwork all ready for you at the school for you to sign. And we'll make sure it's all taken care of. There's no misunderstandings or nothing. Get to the school to pick Hayden up. Go to the guys. They're outside in the little play area. Go to the gate. And I'm expecting, like, paperwork. I look at her like, where's paperwork? Is it inside? Do I need to go sign it? Oh, there's no paperwork. My mom is right behind me. A few... few clicks behind because Hayden's in the sandbox hadn't gotten to the gate yet. So I look at Ash and I go there's no paperwork? No, there's no paperwork. There's no paperwork! Come on, Hayden. We're going to go to the car. Have a great day, Ashlyn. Just like that. Just like that. Facial and everything. I guarantee my face looked just like that. But probably a bit to your leg. Do you know what you just did? Do you know what you just said? Oh, good luck. Let's go to the car, Aiden. Ashlyn follows. And she's talking about it's the end of the year. The district's not going to accept any new Requests for referrals and requests for evaluation as I'm walking to the car and my mom is now walking towards us. My, my mom works for the district. My mom works for the district. Good luck, bitch. This is all that's going through my head. Good luck. Because now you're lying. Now you're flat out fucking line. So, I'm putting Hayden in the car. And I hear Ashley say, well, we give it, we gave her, we sent her home this paperwork months ago. Before spring break. I'm now triggered. Because I know exactly what the fuck she's talking about and what paperwork she's talking about. And that's the paperwork I've been waiting on and been asking about since before spring break. I turned around and looked at her. I said, do you realize what was going on in your classroom that day? And I started naming off the kids. I'm not going to name them here. Was on the f counter. I didn't say fucking. I said, he was on the counter. Screaming. And crying his head off. You had. On the table. With a box of Play-Doh. And she, she, she was ready to go Cosmikasi on kids. And then you had a line playing water tag at the sink. So no, I wasn't going to disrupt your classroom to hand you some paperwork. You know what I did? As a respectful, responsible mom, put it in an envelope addressed to you with my daughter's name on it. And the classroom number. 
and handed into the office with the strict words this is for Ashlyn regarding my child's evaluation paperwork. Please make sure she gets it. I didn't hand it to a volunteer. I handed it to the fucking director of the school. Because I know who everybody is there. I know which ones are just te like teachers. Which ones are just parent volunteers. And which ones actually work for the building. I walked right up to the fucking director, the director, and handed her the envelope. Now, at this time, I said all that to Ashlyn. Well, well, nothing, Ashlyn. Do you know how disrespectful this is the exact word coming out of my mouth? Well, nothing, Ashlyn. Do you know how disrespectful it is for you to sit here and tell me I should have handed it to you when what was going on in your classroom? And now I'm telling you, there's probably an envelope sitting in that office right now with your name on it, with my daughter's name on it. And as this is, conversation is happening, my mom, shh, shh, calm down, calm down. Fuck you when you're calm down, bitch. That's just going to make me more pissed off and you know it. <laughs> But as this is happening, the director's coming out. I looked at Ashley. I said, I handed it right to her. I know who that is. That's the director. That's your boss. I handed it to her. At this point, I've been told to go to the car. Because I know I'm done. You have lied. You have tried to switch up the fucking situation and, and place blame. And at this point, I'm convinced you have no classroom management. And you're trying to blame everybody else. Because you got real salty real quick each time Trenton is brought up. I just don't understand why you don't call the teacher. He's the family advocate. It's his job. You're the fucking teacher. You manage the fucking classroom. Anything that has to do with any kind of evaluation, mental health, uh, if the dentist truck comes in, goes through him, not you. So why is it a problem I'm calling it? So... Yeah, no, church. There ain't no fucking ignoring this shit. Uh-uh. I ain't ignoring them bitches. Because, <laughs> no. Some shit is going on. I'm already fucking... I'm, my mom swears by Head Start. But, like, the Head Start she swears by is the Head Start of the fucking 90s. Like, they don't do that shit no more. It's not... The funding's not there. The edumacation's not there anymore. If anything, they're glorified fucking babysitters. That is what they are. And I hate it. I hate it because that's the, it, it's what you got to do, what you got to do. The education system is for shit. It really is. But... Mm -mm, I ain't letting that shit go. I'm going to have fun at this meeting today because we have a meeting today. After all that shit came to a head, they try. Ah, uh -uh. we're having a meeting now. We're having a meeting now. Oh, other than that, I'm gonna do some reactions. I haven't decided if I'm gonna speak on the other shit yet. I haven't decided yet. But you brave, bitch. You brave. Keep saying my name. Keep trying to manipulate it like I'm going to be your friend again. Bitch, no. Who the... What the fuck you smoking? You the Lulu. You the Lulu as fuck. If you think we's going to become friends again, you think I'm ever going to trust your motherfucking ass again. 
That shit was so motherfucking obvious. So motherfucking obvious. If it, like, one, if it ain't fake, because I don't believe it. Too conveniently fucking timed. But my issues with you, ho, ain't got shit to do with whatever the fuck happened with the late night crew. I have my own fucking issues with you. And at this point, bitch, you really is stupid. Like, the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling some type of way. I feel like I'm Mm, you know, Beetle just, Beetle just, Beetle just keep saying my name, bitch, and it's showtime. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Have a great night. Bye.